Tonight, a story that will turn upside down any doubts you have about kids these days and their ability to be kind and their drive to do something much more profound than just watching the latest dance on TikTok. Tonight, the story of a 10-year-old boy who navigated his mom's battle with breast cancer and is now raising money to help others with breast cancer. Here's Stacey Sager. It was July 4th weekend of 2020. I remember I was in my driveway and my mom told me she had to get surgery. Max Levine was only eight years old at the time, but that moment here in his driveway when he learned of his mom's breast cancer, indelible. So this is like a core memory for you pretty much, right? Yes, I mean. it's in the back of my mind and I'm pretty sure it will be for my entire life. Keep in mind, it was the pandemic. He couldn't see his mom, Hillary, when she had her bilateral mastectomy. And I didn't know where she was or what she was doing, and it was very upsetting, and I really didn't like that at all. But what Max knew was he would find a way to help. It started with one of his favorite sports, lacrosse, and his teammates. Shooting out a quick email saying, do you want to possibly purchase one of these uh, decals to go on your helmet? By the time I woke up, um, on October 2nd, we were already at $500, and I was shocked because I didn't believe it. He raised $2,000 last year from the decals, but it didn't stop there. On to his other favorite sport this year, tennis, and these racket vibration dampeners he sold, raising another three grand. Just dropped off that check here to his mom's surgeon at Northwell Health for their patient navigation program. Just to, help, to have that supportive person with you, which in my case was my grandma and my dad and my brother. Max's grandma, too, had just come through breast cancer, so his mom, Hillary, only 38 at the time, knew the struggle all too well. I wanted to be a good role model. <laughs> when life can be hard, things happen in life. But Max is a kid who owned that struggle, turning it around to good. He's created um, a Google sheet and every time someone sends a donation, he writes them a thank you note. And with a smile that can light up the room, this fifth grader is already planning next year's fundraiser. Hopefully we could try and get to 4,000 though if we pass 3,500. And he's back in that driveway, scoring, because his mom has recovered. Moms are important, right? Very. <laughs> and he was there for the assist.